In this video, I'm going to cover creating folders and files and dealing with files as you delete them. Some of this will be repetition from the past, but some of it will also be new. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go and create a new folder. Create new folder. It says new folder. That works great. No notification. Okay, let's go and create a new folder. New folder, it gives it the same name. Now I'm going to leave it the same name here. I could put a number after it and that would work or change the name any way I wanted. When I click OK, it doesn't give me a chance to continue. It says it already exists and I'm done. OK. Would be nice if it let me continue from there, but it doesn't. That's OK. I could always say create new folder again and give it a new name and that would work. Now let's try it with a text file. Create new text file. Gives me the same dialog. I click OK, works great. Create new text file. Now if it worked like it did with a folder, it would go ahead and give me this and then just fail. But instead it gives me this dialog here. And I'm going to go and stretch this dialog out some, just so we could see the whole thing a little bit better. And I've talked about this some in the past, but let's just consider just how crazy this dialog is. First, I'm creating a new text file. The file does not exist yet, but the dialog is called file already exists. It doesn't. Then it says this action will overwrite the destination. Well, the destination is this text file right here. Warning, the destination is more recent. This is my destination. My new file isn't created yet. How could this destination, this old file, be newer than the file that's not created at all? That makes no sense whatsoever. Then I'm going to go ahead, I could hit overwrite, but when I mouse over that, it says files and folders will be copied into the existing directory alongside its existing contents. You will be prompted again in case of a conflict with an existing file in the directory. But that's not true. If you hit overwrite, it simply overwrites the file. So it's telling you that you will be prompted again, but you're not. The system lies to the user, telling them they will have another chance to not lose data. That's pretty important. But I'll hit suggest new name and it gives me a new name, text file one, and it says rename. I know what that means, that's not so bad, but I'm not really renaming anything. I'm renaming the suggestion for a new file. I'm really just still creating the file. It should just say create file. Well, let's go ahead and hit rename, but look what it gives me. This dialog right here says it created text file. It did not, it created text file one. So if this is true, it overwrote the file anyway but this is actually a lie. Let's look at another way of creating files. I'm going to right click on this and say copy. Now I'm going to right click again. I would expect it to say paste file, paste item, but it says paste URL. Why? That makes no sense at all. I'll hit paste URL. It says this action would overwrite text file with itself. No, it really wouldn't overwrite it with itself. It would make a copy that would overwrite it. But okay, please enter a new name. I could hit suggest. And then I get a button that says continue. Before the other one said rename, this one says continue. So again, there's an inconsistency there. I'll click continue and I get a confirmation dialog with no name. Before I had a name and it was an incorrect name. Now I get a confirmation with just no name at all. Well, let's go ahead and just try that again. I'm gonna right click and hit paste URL and this time I'll just hit cancel. I get the same confirmation saying the copying finished. No, it didn't. It didn't even start. I didn't copy a file there, just giving me incorrect information. Okay, let's take a look at deleting these files now. If I right click, I get move to trash and delete. You don't want to generally just delete a file. You want to move it to trash and then delete it later. Maybe holding down an option key, something like that would have delete. Well, actually, they know that. Shift delete. So my menu item is here, but delete is here. If I hit delete, I don't delete. I move to trash. I have to hit shift delete to delete. Why have delete here at all, or why not just have it where when you hold down the shift key, it shows you the delete option something. Well, let's go ahead and move this to trash, and I can move this one to trash, and I will just delete that one. Do I really want to delete this file? Yes. So I've moved two to the trash and deleted one. What will be in the trash? Lo and behold, it's those two files. That worked. We've already seen before, if I drag this over here, and I open it, and I try to save it. It gives me an error message saying it could not be saved. It was not possible to write. Check that you have write access. That's because this was set to be read only. But okay, we've already looked at that before. I'm going to drag it back in here. And I've been told the correct way to do this is to restore. So I'll right click on those and I will hit restore. 
Now, does it know that I can edit this one? Save, no. Restore doesn't fix it. I'd actually have to go in and fix the permissions. This one, however, I could save no problem. We'll move these back to the trash. Okay, we have found that we're not supposed to select these and drag them out to the desktop. Okay, I've started to do so though, so I'm just gonna move them back and I'm going to release. And I get this error message saying, could not rename file trash colon slash zero dash text file. I wasn't trying to rename anything. Then it tells me to auto skip, skip or cancel. Well, which is the correct one? Well, I'll try auto skip. It tells me moving finished. Well, I didn't move anything. Well, let's try the other options. Select, drag, drag back. Don't auto skip, this time we skip. Now it tells me it could not do it, hit cancel, but it still tells me it did it. And finally, select, drag, drag back, auto skip, skip, cancel, and of course, same thing. So it doesn't really matter which one of those I pick. When I select, bring it out here, drag it back, it gives me this absolutely useless dialogue that is telling me something that I didn't even try to do, and whichever one I pick, I get another dialogue, I get this, it's just giving me incorrect information. Okay, let's go back to the trash and see here, it gives us the option to create a folder. Let's try it. When I click on it, and it just comes up with a weird error. So I cannot create a new folder. What if I take a look at File, New? Folder is grayed out. It knows I can't do it here, but text file is available. So what happens if I create a new text file? Access denied to trash. Okay, I'll just hit cancel, but look at this. Again, I get a notification telling me the text file was created. No, it wasn't. Well, let's try something else in here. Let's try to rename. And I can go ahead and rename this. Could not rename file trash. Okay, it's saying I couldn't, but I could. It renames it just fine. But it gave me that error saying it couldn't. So let's go ahead and edit, undo, trash. It moves them both back, and it gives them their original name. Why? Well, let's take a look at that. When I rename this, file, rename, and I go ahead and give it a new name, it tells me it failed. It really does fail. But what happens when I try to work with this file? Delete, do you really want to delete it? It's saying it does not exist. Why is that? I see it existing. Well, let's leave the trash, come back to the trash. It really is still called text file. That rename never worked. It just shows it to me as working. Let's go ahead next and say empty trash. Empty the trash, I really want to. And it will warn me this action cannot be undone. But when I go to edit, I could do undo. And now look at the error message it gives me. It let me try, but could not rename file, trash files, text file. I'm not trying to rename them. I was trying to undo my deletion. And it told me I couldn't do it, but what is this error message? Yet another mistake. Everything we try to do here, we keep running into problems. Just a mess.